Hello people, it is Pokecon14 and welcome to more Mario Kart 8 150cc Grand Prix. Wow, that title's long. Anyway, last time, yesterday rather, we took on the Egg Cup. And if you haven't seen that and you want to see the Egg Cup in those courses, go ahead and watch some random commentary and some sometimes good, sometimes not good gameplay. As you can see by the cup down there, you can only guess how it turned out. Or maybe you can't. It really depends on how good of a guesser you are, really. But today I shall not worry about the Egg Cup anymore because I am taking on, shut up phone, I'm doing a video, the Triforce Cup. This is also part of the first DLC, as is the Egg Cup. And without further ado, I mean, Wario's Goldmine from the Wii, I never liked that course, this is gonna be fun. The SNES Rainbow Road, which I'm pretty sure that was in Mario Kart 7, I could be wrong as well. I think it was in the SNES Mario Kart as well. I'm, I'm not too sure about that one, but I have a feeling it might have been whenever Mario Kart was for the SNES. Oh gosh, don't kill me for not knowing it. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm young and haven't experienced all those games as much. Toads in the Ice Ice Outpost. I've played on that multiple times in my DLC videos. And the ever amazing Zelda course, Hyrule Circuit. I'm not, I don't remember how fun I, how much I actually like the course itself, but it's Zelda and Mario Kart. So, why wouldn't you like it? Okay, here we go. Wario's Gold Mine. Course number one out of four. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I just said, oh, yeah. I was just referring to the minecart there, how it used to roll on wheels. Now it does not roll on wheels, and it's instead floating in the air using Mario Kart 8's awesome new anti gravity mechanics, even though it's not necessarily new anymore because, you know, this game's. This game's almost a year old. Now that I think about it, huh, Mario Kart is almost a year old, oh wow, I almost fell off, but when did this game come out, like, late May last year, what is it right now, like, late May, this is going to be uploaded the Wednesday, I don't know the day that it's going to be uploaded, but yeah, Mar this game, wow, it feels new, then again, Smash Bros. is also supposed to be, like, a relatively new game, and I look at, back at that, that's half a year old, so I guess you never know, time flies when... I don't know, time flies when you're existing, when you're getting older, or when you're young, both of those maybe, I don't know, anyway, that was, that was just me reminiscing on this game. So also, if you miss a, any sort of knowledge about this game, which I certainly did for a while, apparently coins make you faster, and it's good that I've collected 10 coins right now. I had to say that, now I have 7, thanks to like some banana peel, but, oh, I didn't even know there was a boost panel. See. I don't actually think I've played this course, or at least if, uh, of course I have on Mario Kart Wii, but on Mario Kart 8. Actually, I like this better than the Mario Kart Wii version. I don't, it all seems familiar except for this part. I don't recognize this in Mario Kart Wii's version of the track, or from Mario Kart Wii's version of the track. I don't know why, but that part. Other than that, with all the new, like, it's an awesome combination, Wario's Goldmine graphically, of, like, an old-timey, not like old-timey, just a mine, like, industrial... You, this hard labor grinding mine, but also you have the futuristic rails, and when you're inside, the lighting looks so cool and shiny on that. I'm dang it, a blue shell. Let me just face straight forward and. Yeah. So here we are, it's like just the gritty mine shafts and mine rails. But then we get into this area inside the actual cave, and it's either the lighting reflecting off the typical metal, metal mine rails. Or they're actually futuristic, but it looks so cool. It's an awesome blend. Like, look at this. This is something right off, like, Tron or something. Well, I mean, pretty much the entire... I don't know. A lot of this game is, even though I haven't seen it, <laughs> I just recognize that. But just the way these rails look. I don't know. I like this course a lot more than I did in Mario Kart Wii. I used to be not that good at it, but maybe I'm... It's just easier to control now that I'm not using a steering wheel and I'm using the, uh, thumbstick. But either way, I came in first in the first race, and that was easy. I'm not promising to come in first in every race or in the Grand Prix, as you could could have seen in my bronze cup from the Egg Cup. And if you do want, if you if you want to see that video, I'm gonna be referencing it. Spoilers or no spoilers, I don't really think it matters whether or not I win a race on Mario Kart or a Grand Prix. So I will reference that. If you don't want to be spoiled on the ending of that video, go ahead and click back to it. The playlist is in the description, and I might have added a YouTube card if I'm not lazy. So even though I am on summer now, and obviously, I think I've said that in every single video since summer. 
And by every single video, I actually mean like all two of them because this is this is the second video I've released since I've been out of school, which was last Thursday. Oh wow, it's almost a week. Man, time's flying again. Dang it, time. Why don't you just like mind your own business and stop flying? Oh, I thought I fell off. But yeah, I reference that in every single video. But where was I going with my conversation? Again, I completely forgot what I was saying. Um. I do that a lot. Well, anyway, I actually have friends at school. Alright, don't even try to ask me what happened to the commentary track right there. I've been having a bit of audio problems with this video already because earlier I had to combine both the separate game audio and commentary tracks because the one full audio track that gave me both game audio and commentary kind of messed up a bit. So, yeah, just ignore that. Basically, I shared my uh, YouTube channel with a friend at school and it relates to the conversation at hand. Wow! I got smashed. So anyway, back to what I was saying, I did uh, share one of my, actually the YouTube video I made on Smash Bros with one of my friends at school. <laughs> he said that the main thing, one thing that I should work on in my videos and just stop doing is getting onto topics and completely forgetting to speak about them and basically having my mind go out on all sorts of random oh hey a squirrel so about squirrels stuff like that which is something that I can't fix I just wish my mind could stay in one place for a while anyway yeah I'm completely certain this course was on Mario Kart 7 because I recognize playing on it but it's so bright and shiny this this is the third race in a row I think that I've said this next comment in but Mario Kart 8 looks really good I, I really like the way this game looks up I, I mean I'm not gonna apologize for it. I think it looks great. You could have all these Xbox and Sony fanboys saying, "Oh, blah, blah blah, it's not like native 1080p, or maybe it is, but it's not just Xbox One, PS4 graphics are so much better and realistic." Blah blah blah. I think the Wii U looks great, personally, and I really, I uh, it does. Ice Ice Outpost. This will not be my first time playing on this course. Oh, I should have let it scroll all the way through in the beginning. Darn, why did I skip that? But uh. Yep. I'm just going to continue with what I was saying before with the Wii U looking great. I'll, I'll get off this topic pretty quickly. But just, I like the lighting in this game. It's bright, it's colorful. There's just so much stuff to see, which Nintendo does. They have colorful, non-boring environments because Nintendo worlds are typically happy place. But I don't know. One graphics... Uh, well, one graphics. That was grammar. But one thing that I really like graphically that I don't, I haven't really heard anyone else agree, like typically agree with me on, but something that just stood out to me and pretty much me only, graphically was New Super Mario Bros. U. Oh, got him! Boomerang skill. Get out of here, Koopa Kid or not Koopa Kid, Koopaling. I don't. Is that Roy? I don't know. I don't think. It, I actually have no idea. But New Super Mario Bros. U. I think the backgrounds and that level and just the way it looked overall, I, I thought it, it looked fantastic. Even though no one else seemed to really think the same as me. It's like, oh hey, it's just, it's not too great, but I don't know. I, I thought New Super Mario Bros. U looked really good. Pikmin 3, of course, looks great. Mario Kart 8 and Smash Bros. both. Ah, Nintendo's getting good graphically. Anyway, now that I'm done with that topic of conversation, I should be used to playing on this course by now. Oh, I'll hit the... That was the biggest fail at that shortcut. Possible. Like, that was horrible. And I get a green shell in 7th place. whoop de doo Thanks for the help. Ugh. Well, nonetheless. I'm in 5th. It's the top half. Oh, thanks, Banana Peel. Thanks for... Okay, hit somebody with a red shell and make it better. But, you know. I, I gotta catch up to that Koopaling guy. Him. He's doing too good. Even though I don't know his name. It's like Lenny, Lemmy... No, that's not him. Roy... Octavius, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know their names. Oh, I'm see I seem like such a horrible Mario fan in this video. Dang it. Oh, let me see. Will, it Will he show me his name? I'm not going to risk the shortcut because I'm going to miss it. And... Let's see, as soon as I pass him by Green Shell skilling him out of the... Oh. It didn't work, guys. All of my Green Shells missed. I thought I could... I had high hopes for that. I had high hopes for those three green shells. 
If anyone remembers, you must remember, I, I have the green shell skill, I have all the skill. Red shell skill, blue shell skill, fire flower skill, of course. But that's a topic for another video. And finish. Third bronze, eh. Ludwig! How'd I forget his name? Eh, maybe because it's not really important. That's the guy's name, though. Good job, Ludwig. A lot of people tied for 10th. Seven points. Congratulations, I got more than double that amount on my first race. Was that three courses already? Wow, this video is going by really quick. Yep, yeah, it's 11 minutes already in recording. So that this is about time for our fourth and final race. Hyrule Circuit. Ah, uh, this makes me want to go play a Zelda game again, even though I don't know which one. See, I'm so divided on things I want to do with my summer. Like, I think I want to do some of this, but I also want to do some of that. Maybe this. And I want to do so many different things, I don't end up doing as many as I want. So, if that if that makes sense. Or at least that's the way I'm feeling that I'm, it's going by now. Uh, so, how have you guys been doing? What have you been playing recently? What has been your game of choice? See, mine, I guess you can see I've been on Mario Kart 8. But recently... Uh, I actually bought another copy of Pokemon Platinum, for those of you who don't know, which I've said this m many times before I know, that, uh, but Pokemon Platinum is my favorite game of all time, forever and ever. So, oh, I should have taken that ramp. But, I don't want to delete my file on that- SHUT UP PHONE! I know you can- you guys can hear that one, because my phone's right next to my mic. Um, I should have muted that. Oops, it makes it less professional, oh well. But yeah, Pokemon Platinum is actually my favorite game of all time, and I recently bought another copy just because I could actually play it again, because I don't want to delete my other file, of course. Are any of you guys like that with Pokemon games, you never want to delete your file? Because I am. Like, I have some friends that I'm actually playing along with and racing, but they all just delete a lot of their files after transferring the Pokemon up, but I just can't do that. At least on some games, but usually my main game of each generation of Pokemon, I will not delete my file on. But that's uh, that's the wrong series of games to talk about. Hey, can I hit this and hit the ramp? Yes. Oh, that was that was cool. I like that ramp. It's, this is it's cool. That's all there is to it. Oh, hey, a mushroom. Can I take his mushrooms? Ludwig, give me your mushrooms. No. Okay. If only you could have seen my facial expression on that. I like. It was menacing. But of course, I decided not to put face cam on these videos. That is because, you know, I wanted to show off the tracks. And yeah, this this track is cool. I like it. I don't know. I, with Mario Kart 8, it, I don't really have as much of a strong opinion on how good I think the tracks are. Nowhere near as much as I did in Mario Kart Wii. Maybe because I haven't played it enough, but everything else just seems kind of... Like, nothing stands out as being really good or really bad at all to me, which is... Kind of disappointing. I like having my favorite tracks, but really, my favorite tracks are all just kind of graphically. No, don't fall apart in the last race again. No, don't fall apart at the end of the last race again. No, 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 no. Last time I got. No, last time I fell off the cliff of Mute City and ended up coming in seventh. This time. Er, no, 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 no. Don't get banana peel. Why was that a fire? Was that a fire? Seven, seven. No! Oh my, no! 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 I can't even know that the, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that was horrible, what the heck just happened, what just happened, what the heck, what the heck just happened, how did I get that low, oh my, I got hit by everything, I got hit by everything at the same time again. Look, there I was in, like, either first or second place. I think I was in second place going in that race. Boom! Get knocked out by everything at the very end of the race. I fell apart. Two videos in a row. DLC 1 hates me. Oh. Zelda. Don't. The Zelda course. Did you not want me to let us play Ocarina of Time or something? I, I just supported your game. The, the classic game. It's not my. Shut up, phone again. I'm not in the, I'm not in the mood for you. It's not my favorite Zelda game. I'll go to Skyward Sword, but seriously, Ocarina of Time. You should have respected me back. <laughs> Ninth in Hyrule Circuit. Don't even give me any glistening shine things for that. I don't even want to hear it or see it. Of course, like one of my 
least favorite courses in Mario Kart Wii was the one that I came in first in. And third, third, I can take that. But ninth! Ugh. Anyway. Look at that freaking bronze cup again, because I can't get past the bronze! The DLC, for crying out loud, it's only been twice. I'm gonna make it up next video. I swear I'm gonna do better. I must... Oh, I must do better. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of... Not really an episode, because not really a series, even though it, it kind of is. This video on the Mario Kart 8 DLC packs. I've been Pokecon14. Thank you for watching. If you rem Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed it, and definitely leave a comment telling me, I don't know, like, stuff. Specifically, what you think of the video, what I could do better, what I could not do better, because I have plans that I'm going to do things over the summer, but anyway... And I want to make better content. That's where I should have finished up that thought. I should finish up all my thoughts, even though I don't. Anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe if you have not already. I'm Pokecon14, and see you later, home dogs. Goodbye. Just so you know, I still made like sort of goodbyeing hand motions, even though I don't have the face cam on. That's how much of like that. So lame. Anyway, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>